Suppose you wake up one morning with burnout, massive frustration, and deep-set discontentment with your life. You look around and draw a list of what you don't have. The big car, the exquisite home, the glamorous job. Suddenly, you start envying those who seem to have everything in their possession. It becomes a never-ending cycle of wanting more, striving for something you do not have, and feeling that you are not enough. However, are you aware that you can escape this circle of disappointment? What if you could understand the value of the things available and be happy right now? Seneca and Marcus Aurelius, two Stoic philosophers of ancient Rome, give us this wisdom. Seneca, a wealthy Roman philosopher, reminds us, no person has the power to have everything they want, but it is in their power not to want what they don't have and to cheerfully put to good use what they do have. In other words, instead of constantly craving more, we should focus on being grateful for what we already possess and make the most of it. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, echoes this sentiment when he says, if anyone can refute me, show me I'm making a mistake or looking at things from the wrong perspective, I'll gladly change. It's the truth I'm after and the truth never harmed anyone. He encourages us to be open-minded, willing to change our perspectives, and seek truth and wisdom above all else. These ancient teachings may seem simple, but they hold immense power in our modern world, where we often find ourselves caught up in pursuing material possessions, social status, and fleeting pleasures. By embracing the principles of contentment, open-mindedness, and integrity, we can cultivate a sense of inner peace and fulfillment that transcends external circumstances. Now, picture waking up in the morning with happiness for something as simple as coffee, good weather, or even the sound of laughter from a family member. Two things that stand out are being able to challenge your assumptions and the willingness and ability to transform. Try to understand what it is like to be moral and be able to ascertain right from wrong rather than deciding by the ease of fame, the crowd, the trend, or the fashion. These lessons that Seneca and Marcus Aurelius have to offer us are as relevant today as they were thousands of years ago. By embracing their wisdom, we can unlock the keys to a life of true happiness, purpose, and virtue. A life that is not defined by what we have, but by who we are and how we choose to live. Lesson number one. Finding joy in what you have. Can you remember a time when you have ever fallen in love with something you could see, but did not have or desired to own, such as a new video game console or a brand new bike? Perhaps you may have even had that initial feeling of envy, especially when you saw your friend or classmate getting all that you would have wanted. Everyone will go through it in their lifetime, but it can be an unfulfilling and unhappy place if that is your focus. Seneca, the wise Roman philosopher, understood this feeling all too well. That's why he shared this powerful advice. No person has the power to have everything they want, but it is in their power not to want what they don't have and to cheerfully put to good use what they do have. At the heart of Seneca's teaching is contentment, the ability to find joy and fulfillment in what you already have rather than constantly chasing after more. It's a simple idea that can be incredibly powerful in helping us lead happier, more satisfied lives. What if you could be delighted with your existing games and gadgets rather than envying your friend's new video gaming device? I wish people could have what they need and stop craving the latest fashionable clothes to wear. Maybe some people could spend some effort trying to make a good outfit with what they have. By shifting your mindset from constant wanting to gratitude and appreciation, you can unlock a sense of inner peace and happiness that no material possessions can provide. This idea of contentment and simplicity isn't unique to Seneca. It has been echoed by wise teachers and philosophers throughout history. For example, the ancient Greek philosopher Socrates lived a life of extreme simplicity, owning only the bare essentials and focusing on pursuing wisdom and knowledge. He believed that true happiness came not from material possessions, but from cultivating virtue and understanding. Similarly, the teachings of Buddhism emphasize the concept of non-attachment, encouraging followers 
to let go of their cravings and desires for material things and instead find contentment in the present moment. The Buddha lived a life of extreme simplicity, renouncing his wealthy upbringing to seek enlightenment and inner peace. But the wisdom of contentment and simplicity isn't just something from the past. It's also embraced by countless individuals and communities in modern times. Take, for example, the tiny house movement, where people downsize and live in small, simple homes to reduce their environmental impact, save money, and focus on what truly matters. Or consider the minimalist lifestyle, where individuals intentionally limit their possessions and consumption to cultivate a sense of freedom, clarity, and contentment. By decluttering their physical spaces and letting go of excess, they can appreciate what they truly value and find joy in the present moment. Even in busy cities and bustling communities, some individuals have found contentment and happiness by embracing simplicity and gratitude. Perhaps it's the retiree who finds joy in tending to a small garden, or the student who savors the simple pleasure of a good book and a warm cup of tea. So how can you start cultivating a sense of contentment and appreciation for what you already have? Here are some practical tips and exercises to try. If you liked our video, like, subscribe, and comment so that YouTube knows that this type of content helps people like you and we can continue creating more similar videos in the future. If you don't know what to comment, simply write, silence is power to show that you have surpassed our session. One, practice gratitude. Each day, take a few moments to reflect on what you're grateful for, no matter how small. Write them down in a journal or take a few deep breaths and let the feelings of gratitude wash over you. Two, declutter your space. Look around your room or living area and identify items you no longer need or use. Donate or sell these items and notice how clearing out physical clutter can also help to clear your mind and cultivate a sense of simplicity. Three, savor small pleasures. Instead of constantly seeking out extensive, exciting experiences, learn to appreciate the simple joys in life, the warmth of the sun on your face, the taste of ripe fruit, or the sound of a loved one's laughter. Four, practice mindfulness. When you feel envious or dissatisfied, take a few deep breaths and return your attention to the present moment. Notice the sights, sounds, and sensations around you, and remind yourself of the abundance you already have. Five, limit exposure to advertising. Advertisements are designed to make us feel dissatisfied with what we have and crave more. Try limiting your exposure to ads, whether by subscribing to ad-free streaming services or simply being more mindful of the marketing messages you consume. By adopting the wisdom of Seneca and cultivating a sense of contentment and appreciation for what you already have, you can unlock a path to true happiness and fulfillment. It's a journey that requires practice and patience, but can ultimately lead to a life of greater joy, peace, and freedom. Remember, true happiness doesn't come from constantly acquiring more. It comes from learning to appreciate and make the most of what you already have. So take a deep breath, look around you, and find gratitude in the present moment. The key to a life of contentment and satisfaction has been there all along, just waiting for you to embrace it. Lesson number two, self-discipline and compassion. Ever wondered why being harsh on ourselves is more accessible than for anyone else? We could constantly lash out at ourselves over a petty error or keep putting pressure on ourselves to deliver the best result while being far more charitable in our expectations to a friend or a family member. The wise Roman emperor and philosopher Marcus Aurelius recognized this tendency and offered powerful advice. Be tolerant with others and strict with yourself. At first, this might sound confusing or even contradictory. Shouldn't we be kind and understanding towards ourselves too? Well, yes and no. Marcus Aurelius wasn't saying we should be overly harsh or cruel to ourselves. Instead, he emphasized the importance of self-discipline and holding ourselves accountable for our high standards while extending compassion and understanding to others. Think about it this way. If you want to excel at something, 
Whether it's a sport, a musical instrument, or your studies, you must be disciplined and dedicated. You must push yourself to practice, learn, and grow, even when challenging or uncomfortable. At the same time, you wouldn't expect the same level of perfection from others. You'd be patient, supportive, and understanding of their struggles and mistakes. By implementing this principle of being strict with yourself and being tolerant of others, you earn good self-discipline and the ability to foster good relations with others. Hence, taking a positive attitude in all the activities you engage in to achieve the set goals. Throughout history, many cultures and philosophies have embraced this idea of balancing self-discipline and compassion. For example, the ancient Spartan warriors were renowned for their rigorous training and unwavering self-discipline. Still, they were also taught to respect their opponents and show mercy to those who surrendered. In Buddhism, mindfulness, being present and aware of the moment, is seen as a path to self-discipline and compassion. By developing mindfulness, one can become more aware of their thoughts, emotions, and actions, allowing for greater self-control and accountability. At the same time, mindfulness fosters a sense of interconnectedness and empathy towards others, leading to greater understanding and kindness. Even today, we can find examples of individuals and organizations that have successfully balanced self-discipline and compassion. Take, for instance, the story of Malala Yousafzai, the Pakistani activist for female education and the youngest Nobel Prize laureate. Malala has shown incredible self-discipline and determination in her pursuit of education and advocacy for girls' rights, even in the face of grave danger and adversity. At the same time, she has consistently demonstrated compassion and understanding towards those who have opposed or oppressed her, advocating for dialogue and peaceful resolution. In sports, we can look to athletes like Serena Williams or LeBron James, who have achieved greatness through their incredible work ethic, self-discipline, and commitment to excellence. Yet they have also used their platforms to promote empathy, understanding, and social justice, showing compassion for those facing discrimination or adversity. So how can you start embodying the principle of being strict with yourself and tolerant with others in your life? Here are some practical tips and exercises. One, set clear personal standards. Identify the areas where you want to hold yourself to high standards, whether it's in your studies, a hobby, or your personal conduct. Write down these standards and refer to them regularly to stay accountable. Two, practice self-reflection. Take time each day to reflect on your actions, thoughts, and emotions. Ask yourself if you lived up to your personal standards and identify areas where you can improve or be kinder to yourself. 3. Cultivate mindfulness. Engage in mindfulness practices like meditation and deep breathing exercises, or take a few moments to be fully present. This can help you become more aware of your thoughts and emotions and those of others. 4. Extend empathy. When you're critical or judgmental towards others, Pause and try to put yourself in their shoes. Consider their circumstances, struggles, and perspectives, and consciously respond with understanding and compassion. Five, seek feedback. Ask trusted friends, family members, or mentors for honest feedback on areas where you can improve your self-discipline or show more compassion towards others. Be open to their insights and use them as opportunities for growth. Remember, the path to self-discipline and compassion is an ongoing journey filled with challenges and opportunities for growth. But by embracing Marcus Aurelius's wisdom of being strict with yourself and tolerant with others, you can acquire the resilience, focus, and empathy necessary to achieve your goals while fostering meaningful connections and positively impacting the world. Therefore, grab a good book, extend your wings, set high goals for yourself, and prepare to see the real you. Similarly, be kind and sympathetic to your fellow human beings, remembering that all are going through darkness and trials. By combining this powerful balance, one can reach one's full potential and achieve a life with meaning, satisfaction, and even happiness. Lesson number three, embracing truth and seeking growth. 
Has there ever been a moment somewhere in your life where someone was trying to argue about something you believed in or a view you held and your first urge was to fight back? This is a usual psychological reaction to information. A person decides their opinion is correct and nothing will convince them otherwise. However, the ancient Roman philosopher Marcus Aurelius had a different approach. He famously said, if anyone can refute me, show me I'm making a mistake or looking at things from the wrong perspective, I'll gladly change. It's the truth I'm after, and the truth never harmed anyone. At the heart of this quote is a powerful principle, the willingness to be open-minded, to embrace new perspectives, and to change our views when presented with truth or evidence. It's a quality that can be incredibly valuable, not just in our personal lives, but in the pursuit of knowledge, progress, and understanding. Imagine if some of history's greatest thinkers and innovators had stubbornly clung to their existing beliefs and refused to consider new ideas. We might never have discovered that the Earth revolves around the Sun, unlocked the secrets of electricity and magnetism, or even developed life-saving medical treatments. On the other hand, countless historical examples of individuals and societies rejecting new ideas or perspectives often led to their detriment. For instance, the Catholic Church's resistance to the heliocentric model of the solar system, the idea that the Earth revolves around the Sun, led to the persecution of scientists like Galileo Galilei, setting back scientific progress for centuries. In more modern times, we can look to examples like the tobacco industry's denial of the health risks associated with smoking or the ongoing climate change debate, where some groups have consistently rejected overwhelming scientific evidence in favor of protecting their own interests or ideologies. But there are also inspiring stories of individuals and organizations that have embraced a growth mindset and adapted to changing circumstances even when it meant letting go of long-held beliefs or practices. Take, for example, the story of Microsoft. In the early days of personal computing, the company was focused primarily on developing software for IBM's operating system. However, when the Internet revolution began to take hold, Microsoft recognized the need to shift its perspective and embrace this new technology. They poured resources into developing web browsers and services, ultimately becoming a dominant player in the Internet age. Or consider the example of Hindustan Unilever, a consumer goods company in India. When faced with mounting concerns about the environmental impact of their products and practices, the company consciously decided to change its approach. They launched initiatives to reduce their carbon footprint, invest in sustainable manufacturing processes, and develop eco-friendly products, a move that aligned with their values and proved to be a savvy business decision as consumer demand for sustainable options grew. So how can you develop the open-mindedness and willingness to change that Marcus Aurelius advocated for? Here are some practical strategies. One, practice active listening. When someone presents a perspective that differs from yours, Resist the urge to dismiss or argue against it immediately. Instead, make a conscious effort to truly listen and understand where they're coming from, even if you ultimately disagree. 2. Seek out diverse perspectives. Surround yourself with people, books, podcasts, or other sources that offer a range of viewpoints and experiences different from your own. Actively seek out opportunities to expand your understanding and challenge your assumptions. 3. Embrace curiosity. Approach new ideas or information with curiosity and wonder, rather than skepticism or defensiveness. Ask questions, explore different angles, and remain open to having your mind changed. 4. Recognize confirmation bias. We all tend to seek out and prioritize information that confirms our existing beliefs, known as confirmation bias. Be aware of this natural inclination and consciously consider evidence or perspectives that challenge your views. 5. Celebrate growth and learning. Instead of feeling threatened or embarrassed when you're proven wrong or need to change your perspective, 
celebrate it as an opportunity for growth and learning. Acknowledge that being open to new ideas and changing your mind is a sign of strength, not weakness. By embracing the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius and cultivating a mindset of open-mindedness and willingness to change, you can unlock a world of possibilities. You'll be better equipped to navigate the complexities of life, stay adaptable in the face of changing circumstances, and continue growing and learning throughout your journey. Remember, the truth has nothing to fear. Our resistance to change and stubbornness in clinging to old beliefs can hold us back. So take a deep breath, open your mind, and embrace the adventure of continuously seeking truth and understanding. The path may not always be easy, but the rewards of growth, insight, and personal evolution make it all worthwhile. Lesson number four, living with honesty and integrity. Let's say you are playing a game with friends, and at some point or another, you get a chance to twist the rules or even cheat a little, getting an unfair advantage. Or perhaps you are a student doing your assignment and come across some material that could be of a lot of help if you could use it directly, but that would be cheating. These are sometimes realities, and in such cases, it may be relatively easy to give in to the pressure, provided there is a belief that the act will never be discovered. The wise Roman emperor and philosopher Marcus Aurelius had a different perspective. He famously said, If it is not right, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it. These simple words carry a powerful message about the importance of integrity, honesty, and ethical conduct in all aspects of life. Integrity means doing the right thing even when it's difficult or no one is watching. It's about staying true to your values and principles and making choices that align with what you know to be right and true. Honesty is a key part of this. Being truthful in your words and actions and refusing to engage in deception or dishonesty no matter how tempting or convenient it might seem. Living with integrity and honesty can be incredibly tough, but it's a quality cherished and honored by many remarkable individuals and societies throughout history. Just think about Abraham Lincoln, the 16th President of the United States. Despite facing enormous challenges and harsh criticism, he was deeply respected for his unwavering honesty and dedication to doing what was right. On the other hand, Countless examples of individuals and organizations have suffered severe consequences for violating principles of integrity and honesty. The Enron scandal, for instance, involved massive corporate fraud and dishonesty, ultimately leading to the company's downfall and the imprisonment of several top executives. In more recent times, we've seen examples of ethical leadership and the positive impact it can have. Take, for instance, the outdoor clothing company Patagonia, which has built its brand around environmental sustainability and ethical business practices. By staying true to its values and refusing to compromise on issues like fair labor practices and environmental responsibility, Patagonia has cultivated a loyal customer base and a reputation for integrity that sets it apart from competitors. So how can you start developing and practicing integrity and honesty in your own life? Here are some practical strategies. 1. Define your values. Take some time to reflect on what's truly important to you, your core values and principles. Write them down and refer back to them regularly to help guide your decisions and actions. 2. Practice being truthful. Try to be honest and sincere, even in minor situations. If you accidentally break something, own up to it. If you're struggling with an assignment, be upfront instead of making excuses. 3. Develop moral courage. It takes courage to do the right thing, to make a noble decision when one can easily indulge in the wrong thing to gain a profit. Practice standing up for what you believe is right, even when challenging. Four, seek out ethical role models. Look for individuals who have demonstrated exceptional integrity and honesty in your life or history. Learn from their example and let their stories inspire you to live with similar principles. 5. Anticipate ethical dilemmas. Think about potential situations where you might face a moral or ethical dilemma and consider how you would respond in a way that upholds your values and integrity. 6. Hold yourself accountable. 
When you make a mistake or fall short of your ethical standards, take responsibility for it. Learn from the experience and use it as motivation to do better next time. Remember, living with integrity and honesty isn't about being perfect. It's about consistently doing what's right and staying true to your values, even when it's complicated. It's a journey that requires constant self-reflection, courage, and a commitment to personal growth. By embracing the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius and cultivating a life of integrity and honesty, you'll build a solid moral foundation for yourself and inspire others around you to do the same. Imagine a world where everyone lived by the principle of if it is not right, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it. A world built on trust, respect, and ethical conduct. So take a deep breath, tap into your inner strength and courage, and commit to living a life of integrity and honesty. It won't always be easy, but the rewards, a clear conscience, a positive impact on those around you, and the knowledge that you're staying true to your values will make it all worthwhile. Embrace this ancient wisdom and let it guide you towards personal growth, ethical leadership, and a life well lived. Throughout this adventure, we learned about the recommendations of the great Stoic philosophers such as Seneca and Marcus Aurelius, and how those ideas could be helpful in the contemporary world. From cultivating contentment and gratitude, to developing self-discipline and compassion, to being receptive and committed in the search for truth and integrity, their ideas have provided us with a clear direction to growth, happiness, and moral character. At the core of Stoic philosophy is the belief that true happiness and peace of mind come not from external circumstances, but from our ability to control our thoughts, emotions, and reactions to the world around us. By shifting our perspective and aligning our actions with virtuous principles, we can unlock a deep sense of inner strength, resilience, and purpose, no matter what challenges or obstacles we may face. Imagine living each day with a profound appreciation for the present moment, free from the constant desire for more possessions or status. Imagine approaching every situation with an open mind, willing to learn and grow, rather than stubbornly clinging to outdated beliefs or assumptions. Imagine navigating life's complexities with unwavering integrity, making choices that align with your deepest values and principles, even when complicated. This is the power of Stoic wisdom, a timeless philosophy that transcends cultures, eras, and individual circumstances, offering a path towards true freedom, authenticity, and a life well-lived. Please reflect on our explored lessons and principles as we conclude this journey. Consider how you can implement them in your life one small step at a time. You'll start a gratitude journal, acknowledging the simple joys and blessings surrounding you or you'll set a personal goal to cultivate more self-discipline in a particular area of your life, while also extending greater empathy and understanding towards others. Remember, personal growth and transformation aren't achieved overnight. They require consistent effort, patience, and a willingness to embrace lifelong learning and self-reflection. But with each small step, each conscious choice to align your thoughts and actions with stoic principles, you'll be laying the foundation for a life of greater purpose, fulfillment, and inner peace. If you're inspired to delve deeper into the world of Stoic philosophy, countless resources are available. Consider exploring works like Meditations by Marcus Aurelius or Letters from a Stoic by Seneca, which offer profound insights and practical wisdom for navigating life's challenges. You might also explore modern interpretations and applications of Stoicism, such as The Obstacle is the Way by Ryan Holiday or A Guide to the Good Life by William B. Irvine. Ultimately, the true power of Stoic wisdom lies in your willingness to embrace it, to live it, and to share it with others through your words and actions. As Marcus Aurelius said, waste no more time arguing about what a good person should be, be one. So let us embark on this journey together, armed with the timeless principles of contentment, open-mindedness, self-discipline, compassion, and integrity. Let us strive to be the living embodiments of stoic wisdom, shining beacons of virtue and ethical conduct 
in a world that often values material gain and fleeting pleasures over true fulfillment. As we navigate the inevitable challenges and obstacles that life will present, let us remember these final words from Seneca. True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future, not to amuse ourselves with either hopes or fears, but to rest satisfied with what we have, which is sufficient, for he that is so wants nothing. Embrace these teachings, my friends, and let them guide you towards a life of profound meaning, authenticity, and lasting joy. The path may not always be easy, but the rewards of living in alignment with Stoic wisdom are beyond measure. So take that first step today and never stop growing, learning, and striving to be the best version of yourself.